good morning and welcome. We ask you to please stand. One quick announcement. The Advent and Christmas schedules have been published and there's a, a brochure out in the narthex for you to pick up on your way out. The first important event coming up is a week from Tuesday on the 30th, we have our Advent penance service. It's a little earlier this year than normal, but we wanna get you in the right mode for all of Advent. So please pick up one of the schedules of the events after Mass, and please join me now in the program on the first page in the Atsumus Sancte Spiritus Prayer. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Please join us in singing Mighty King. You are the Spirit bringing us life, igniting the fire of faith in our lives. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. This solemnity reminds us that even in the darkest hours of history, even in the darkest hours of our life, Jesus is in control. He is the king. He is the king of the universe. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves 
to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, forgive us our sins. Christ eleison. with your body and blood. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty's service and proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. From the book of the prophet Daniel, as the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, 
the one, like a son of man, received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from sins by his blood, who has made us unto a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty, the word of the Lord. Oh, 
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, then you are a king. Jesus answered, you say I am a king. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. We are ending the liturgical year. Next Sunday, with Advent, we will begin a new liturgical year that will make us participate once again in the grace of salvation and will bring us closer to the definitive encounter with the Lord. The solemnity of Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, often called the Feast of Christ the King, was instituted by Pope Pius XI in 1925. Today, I invite you to end this liturgical year with our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, reflecting especially on his title as the King, the King of the universe, the King of our lives. The vision of the prophet Daniel in the first reading is fully applied to Christ in the New Testament. Jesus used the expression for himself many times, son of man. And in the New Testament, Jesus is called son of man about 80 times. The son of man that the author of the book saw in his vision is a man who has received dominion, glory, and kingship. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. The vision of the book of Revelation in the second reading calls Jesus with virus with diverse titles, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, the rulers of the kings of the earth. It is said that he is coming amid the clouds, a symbol of the presence of divinity. He calls himself the Alpha and the Omega. That is the beginning and the end of all history. That is why he adds that he is the one who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Today, as we celebrate this solemnity, we rejoice that our Savior has been made Lord and King of history and Head of the Church, because we too, from baptism, share in his kingship. The book of Revelation says in today's second reading that being as he is the king and priest, he has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. However, we must understand how Jesus is king. My kingdom does not belong to this world. 
say Jesus. His kingdom is not a kingdom of power and wealth. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting, say Jesus to Pilate. A few hours after his dialogue with, the, with Pilate, that early king, we will see Jesus nailed to the cross, saving us through his sacrifice. As the book of Revelation says, he who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. He is a king who does not try to impose dominion over us, but has come to serve and to give his life for every one of us. As the best of the kings, Jesus teaches, teaches us by his example that true kingship is not about glamour, power, or wealth. It is about service. As our king and as, a, as the example and model for our daily living, Jesus shows us his life by his life that we are called to be humble, loving, and loving, loving service. Our king shows us that we are to be merciful, just, and truthful, willing to bring God's peace to challenging situations. Like Christ, our king, we are called to lay down our lives so that others may live. We evangelize more, this world more with our generous service than with our speeches or with the display of the power of our institutions. In the Lord's Prayer, we always ask, your kingdom come. Today, we can pray it with, with greater confidence because we believe in Christ we try to follow his path with the confidence that he wants to build a new heaven and a new earth. A kingdom that, as the prophets, the prefets will say, it is a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. That is the future of our journey through this world. Before Holy Communion, the priest always says, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. It is not just that we are invited to this table of the Eucharist, which is already a huge blessing, but to what this table foreshadows and anticipates, the table of the heavenly banquet, the festive wedding table in the definitive and everlasting kingdom. That is why in we will ask in today's prayer after communion, having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom. May this be our prayer today. Amen. Proclaiming Jesus as the King of the universe, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God.
Rejoicing that Christ is our King, we bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we might remember that our vocation is one of service and not to be served, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our archdiocese, especially our Cathedral Parish of Christ the King on their feast day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, may we truly invite Jesus to be the King of our hearts and actions as we seek a closer relationship with Him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling this upcoming Thanksgiving weekend, may they return safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are homebound or hospitalized with illness, may Christ our King, the divine physician, bring them peace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep us mindful of our Christian duty to care for those who are cold, hungry, and homeless, and may not be fortunate enough to have loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the parish for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant the joy of your presence to all who have died and help us to comfort those who mourn, especially for Arlene Fox, Anne Grisez, Nan Price, Tommy Manor, and Shane Flooding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and for your own intentions held in the silence of your hearts. Loving Father, hear these prayers we have offered through your Son, our Lord and King, and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Please join us in singing, Worthy is the Lamb. Thank you. 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you have said and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, although they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clitus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Demian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, 
graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took breath in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and was more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat the spread and drink the cup We will make more careful, Lord, unto you Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of the eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts, of, the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also your servants who had gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant then, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants, who thou sinners, 
hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some cheer and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us we beseech you into their company, no waiting our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter my room, but only say this word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you unable to receive the Holy Eucharist at this time, please join in praying the act of spiritual communion. 
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please join me in singing above all.
Maurice, join us in singing Mighty to Save. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The extraordinary minister for Holy Communion, please come forward. Yeah. 
Please take the real presence of Christ to those who are in most need of him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. Please join us in singing God of Wonder. Are your time.